What's up guys? Welcome to the 10th lesson of the essential tools in Photoshop. In this lesson, we're gonna talk about the measure tools. These kind of tools make our workflow quite easy. They give us the opportunity to pick some elements of colors, to measure some areas, to leave some notes and some reference point. So very easy to use and very useful within Photoshop for our workflow. So let's see what I'm talking about. Perfect guys, we've got different tools that allows us to measure information within Photoshop. When you click on the high drop tool, this is one of them. The eye drop tool gives us the opportunity to pick a color from an image. And this color obviously can be used to paint on top of the image, create brush strokes, or apply this color to any type of object or selections. How do you use this tool? It's very simple. As soon as we click on top of a color, keep pressing on this color, we can see how it works. So we've got this circle where the top color is the color that we actually are trying to select. The bottom color of the circle is the color that's been selected before, so it's the previous color. What happened in case I want to select two colors, you can swap the two primary um, color and you can click another color, and this way you've got the selection of the two. And then you can easily play around by pressing X. And this way you swap these two, you can use these two. In case you select different type of colors and you want to go back into some of the previous that you just select, you can find them in swatches in a line as a history. A few things about the eyedrop. It's quite interesting because you can use it, for example, in combination with the brush tool. So when I got the brush to select and I'm using the brush, I can easily go into the into the high drop tool by clicking Alt, it appears, I select the color and I keep doing whatever I'm doing. You got different options on top and settings. You can sample a color from different layers as soon as you got different layers, different images. Selecting current layer, it works just on one layer. In this case, you can see there's nothing because on the layer there's nothing. So it's important that you've got information within the layers and colors information. Tendency is to keep all layers, this way it's going to be easy for your workflow. It's going to be easy for your workflow. Show sample in the ring, obviously, it will give us the opportunity to see the ring. This is quite interesting, is the sample size. Now, at the moment, I've got point sample. So as soon as I click on top of um, color information, we can see that it gives me different variation of color because at the moment it's taking the information from one pixels. As soon as I put 31 by 31 average, it gives me an average in between 31 pixels of the area. In this way, it's gonna be a little bit more easy for me to create an average of the area. If I keep 101 by 101, obviously I will have more of a, an overall selection of a color of that specific area around. The tendency is quite nice to keep in between five um, and three. Uh, in case you want something very specific, obviously you can use uh, one point. The 3D material high drop tool is for 3D. The color sample tool is um, very interesting because it gives us the opportunity to create a little bit of a history, but be more of a, a detailed history of a color that we are selecting. So as soon as I create the first point, we can see the number one, and then here we can see the number one. So, as soon as I click on a second point, we're gonna have a second point information. These are information are RGB information, so it's telling me the ratio of an RGB option of this specific color that I've just sampled. So in case you need a bit more of a specific detail of a color that you're just selecting, because you need to make sure that it blends perfectly with something else, here you got all this information. You can also change different type of information. So in case you want it in grayscale, in case you want it in web color, in grayscale it's telling me that it's 93% the number two. In case I want the web color, uh, HSB color, CMYK color, so you can definitely play around with it and find the information within the color that you've just select. We got the ruler tool. The ruler is a fantastic tool because it gives us the opportunity to create a 
line or diagonal, any type of lines that you need as a reference. They can help you out with the measurement or working precisely. So it depends on the type of work that you do. In retouching, I don't really use as much the ruler. We've got note tool. In case you want to take notes of some specific areas, I don't know, I click on the dress and I want to make sure that this area, we need to change the color later. So I'll put just a little bit of a note on top of an image. In case I need to change, I don't know, really touch the eye. I put a note and I can be, I can easily find them. You can also delete them, personalize it. You can clean all, change the color of it. Again, all this information you can find in Windows, click on notes and then it will appear. What also you've got is one, two, three count. It's very interesting. It just adds point to the image. That could be obviously your reference point. As soon as you prefer to create a, an analysis of your image, you want to add some specific point for you to remember some marker. This will be quite easy to use as soon as you want to add reference point to it. Eyedropper is probably one of the measure tools that we use most, but this is the option that Photoshop give us. Different options of measuring areas, different option of adding notes, point, references, that for us is going to help us a lot. The ruler is a fantastic tool as soon as you click on the view and view the ruler, it's going to really help you a lot to understand the measurement of this image, which you can decide it can be pixels, inches, centimeters. Uh, you can also define, obviously, the color. Um, let's say, for example, if I want to find out the middle of the image, I can see the 50% if I put in percentage and I can easily create a ruler on that. Or I can also drag the ruler down in a very easy way. So what you need to do to do that, you click on top of the numbers and as you move the ruler, which is going to be your reference point. So you can kind of create, let's say, a scale of the image for you as a reference. You can click option to change from vertical to horizontals. This is the beauty as well of the ruler. I think it's quite nice when you need to crop an image or you need to work on a specific area of it. This is quite great for you to have as a reference and measurement within it. If you want to remove them, you just click and drag them up or down. These are all the measurement tools that we can find in Photoshop to make sure that we've got a beautiful workflow with some information on top of our image to pick up color in a very easy way.